Vale has had a rough development cycle, to say the least. But going from the heights of esports glory to dying and being rebuilt from the ground up, what has it all been heading towards? Vale 1.0. Right now, the game is in open beta in App Lab on Quest and in early access on Steam. But details have just been released on what the launch version of Veil vale is going to look like. And if you want to get in early, keep watching for information on how to get the game at a discount before it increases in price at launch. Veil vale is having its official release in early 2024. They say they want you to come break the game, so they're offering it for 20% off in the Quest store until January 4th with this code. And it's a whopping 90% off on Steam as well. So if you have a VR capable PC, go get that for you and all your new VR eSports sweat teammates. So when Veil launches officially, it's going to launch with new guns, new maps, new game modes, a progression system, which looks like this, matchmaking, stat tracking, and leaderboards. That's a lot, and when it has all these features, they're gonna charge more for the game, so get it while it's cheap. But in my opinion, this really is the best time to start playing the game. There's a few servers full almost any time of day if you're in the US or Canada, so you can get good before all the noobs rush in at launch, and maybe you'll be able to compete in the upcoming competitive season, which brings me to the most exciting point. Vale is joining the VR Master League, the biggest, and in my opinion, best VR esports league. The preseason starts January 15th with the full season coming a month later and it's sponsored by xlab with the prize pool starting at ten thousand dollars and that's going to increase as more sponsors come in so start practicing get some teammates and sign up i have some videos made and more coming on how to get good and if you have the talent and the drive i'm starting my own veil team called touch grass please join my discord if you'd like to try out and let me know what you think you bring to the table but let's say you don't want to be an esports sweat and you're just a casual who wants to play for fun with cool gun skins well you're still in luck if you play the game at all before launch, you'll get this crash dummy skin for the MK23 pistol and the attacking side player model. And then you can get the matching set for the MR96 sniper rifle and the defending player model by signing up on the Patreon. All of this is linked below. And then the skin market on Discord also has some new seasonal skins to buy with big boy bucks, the Veil Discord's proprietary currency. If you want to get some for free, use my referral code in the Veil Discord, which is pasted below. You can get more BBBs by being active in the Discord or participating in community community events. Honestly, it has been such a rough 13 months for those of us who have been around since the Steam Early Access launch for Veil, vale, but I'm excited to see it finally heading towards something. There is a light on the horizon. Hopefully the, <laughs> let's hope the 1.0 launch is actually stable. Xlab, please. Yeah, I know you got that testing branch up. Let's use it. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> um, Yeah, go play some VR sweat game. Let's go. <laughs>